Hi everyone and welcome to Love Works. We are going to do an all signs tarot reading for you and we are going to look at what your upcoming Valent Valentine's Day looks like. A little bit far in advance but you know what the hell. So check your timestamp below if you would like a personal reading with me. My link is in the description box. You can find that by hitting the more tab that is right underneath this video. Okay so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with Aries and see. Let's take a peek ahead as to what your Valentine's Day, your upcoming, because it's a timeless reading, so whenever you are watching this video, what your upcoming valens, Valentine's, I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that word, Valentine's Day looks like. Okay. Release and let go. Okay. But there is a freedom to that. She looks happy. She doesn't look uh, stressed out or depressed or anything like that, right? Um, oh, well, okay. <laughs> and take my hand. Aww. So some of you by Valentine's Day may be like letting go of an addiction to someone else and then moving forward with someone new. That's that's what I'm I'm sensing here. Okay. All right. So cool. Let's get the tarot. See what's going on. <laughs> she's she's boozing it up in this picture, but addictions can be all kinds of things, right? It can be addicted to just having a difficult time letting someone go or letting a mindset go, right? Release and let go like a negative mindset. It could even be. Uh, and then look, we have this like, take my hand. Take my hand. <laughs> All right. All right. What do we got going on for Aries? Tell me about Valentine's Day for the Aries that are watching this video, please. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to see. Am I centered? No. Okay. These can come down lower. And these can come here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let's put these over here. Let's go this way. Okay. Oh my God. Now I have that song in my hand or in my hand, in my head. <laughs> take my hand. Okay. Um, take my home. Oh, hello, King of Swords. Okay. And Queen of Wands. Okay. So Queen of Wands to me does feel like you will be getting dressed up, like going somewhere. The King of Swords, though, I feel like that's not your date, necessarily. I feel like that who is who you are letting go of. Let me see. What is this card? The Star. Yeah, so there could be an Aquarius. So for some of you, there could be celebrating um, some sort of letting go of some kind of issues or problems or something like that, just letting go and then enjoying the things for the moment. Okay. Others of you, I feel like it's saying like you're going to be letting go of someone. All right. And moving forward in a new direction. Aquarius is figured here. So it could be an Aquarius. But again, that could be either way, what you're letting go of or moving forward with. Okay, let's see. Let me get a little bit more here. Aquarius again. Wow. Okay, so, I mean, that's really, really showing up for you. Oh, Aquarius again. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you have a ton of Aquarius cards. So now this could, if you don't have any prominent Aquarius in your life, then there's most likely something around Aquarius season because then we move into Valentine's Day right after that, where you are leaving behind something here for sure. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, um... Yeah, the star. So healing from a situation, letting go of something that's been weighing on you for a long time. Let me see. This is one more stuck card. Let me see what that one is. Yeah, justice. Okay, so leaving behind this cycle, for sure, of letting go of an addiction to either a person or just a way of being 
and moving into this take my hand let's take a look at take my hand now all right so tell me about take my hand Seven of Cups, mm, dreamy, all right. Nine of Swords, okay, worried though. Worried about what's ahead. I feel like you, sh you don't need to be though. Six of Pentacles, yeah, that's being like given a gift or being taken out, uh, treat, treated to dinner, something along those lines. So I do see that you most likely will have something going on on Valentine's Day with Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's, she's very active queen. It is your nature, fire nature, right? Plus the Queen of Wands, she, she's sort of, um, you know, she gets dressed up and, you know, ready to go out and do things. So she's very much of like an attracting energy. And you have this six of pentacles here. So I feel like you guys are possibly uh, worried for nothing or I don't want to say for nothing, but there's like this energy here <clears throat> of letting go of someone. And I do feel like someone wants to take you out. Someone wants to treat you, you know, take you to dinner or what have you. Six of Pentacles, give you a gift. If it's, if they can't take you out, they're going to give you a gift or something along those lines is what I am seeing. So I do think you have some activity. I do think these are a little suspect, you know, a little sus, uh, kind of heads up energies to remind you to release and let go of some sort of like either addiction to like a stressful situation or really needing to heal from a karmic with justice here. Move away from that energy. Seven of swords. Don't tiptoe around it. Get king of swords on it. You know, get, get your, your mind as clear as possible to move away from that situation and then move into this other um, possibilities that are in front of you. Okay. All right. So let's go to Taurus. Taurus, what will Taurus that are watching this video, what will they be, uh, what's happening for them on Valentine's Day? What will be happening for them on Valentine's Day, please? Taurus. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Could argue a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. But it does say rewrite your love story. Oppor opportunities to reconcile love. So there may be something where you guys just aren't like hearing each other. It says, are you hearing each other? Right. Because they're just like, blah, 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 blah. You know, so it's hard to really hear what someone is really trying to say or really trying to express when we're in this energy both sides right it looks like both neither one is really like hearing the other <clears throat> but you do have the, so if there has been an argument with someone or there will be possibly in the future before valentine's day it does look like you guys um have at least the opportunity here to reconcile a situation okay so let's see what's going on for you. So is it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. So what's going on for Taurus on Valentine's Day, please? Their upcoming Valentine's Day. Oh, what's that sliding around all whack? <laughs> okay. Six of Swords. Okay. We'll just keep that in mind. So Six of Swords is moving away from issues, um, that sort of thing. Or there could be like distance between you two. It could be a distance relationship. Okay, what's going on for Taurus? Valentine's Day. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> the King of Cups. <laughs> and the Magician. Okay, all right. So, so I do think it is very possible, Taurus, like if you guys are like apart right now or you've had an argument or you're just not like able to reconcile or something at this point, there may absolutely be an opportunity 
because we have the magician here. So it's kind of like anything's possible. Rewrite your love story. What do you want it to look like? How do you want to, like what things need to be left behind on the shores, uh, you know, where in, and where the choppy water is so that you can smooth, t you know, uh, sail towards smooth waters, you know, the um, ability to not overthink things or anything like that. So what types of things could, could you manifest here as the magician that would be an opportunity to reconcile love for you? So it doesn't mean you have to reconcile with this person, all right? And this may not even have occurred yet. Keep that in mind. I mean, this might be something, because we're looking at a fairly significant time period here, now until Valentine's Day, right? So, well, depending on when you are watching this. So this could just mean like rewrite w w your love story. It's like if you don't want to reconcile, because it says opportunities, it doesn't mean you have to, right? So you're the magician here. Although I feel like you guys do like have a lot going for you here. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. So perhaps it's more of a situation needing to manifest just new energy, like reinvigorate the the energy that is stagnant or something along those lines. Are we hearing the other person? So they're not hearing you, you're not hearing them. Like, so what is it that really needs to be, because these are emotional ties. So they're not always direct communication ties, like the queen and king of swords might be or something along those lines. So I do feel like, like really sitting down, hearing each other, hearing between the lines. Not everybody's very good at expressing themselves. <laughs> so yeah, I do. I feel like you guys, aw. Uh, yeah, see, because I looked at the bottom of the deck here with the two of swords and I, I looked at the next card, the ace of cups. So it's like, it may not seem like it now. You may not be able to see things now as clearly because I, I don't think, again, like nobody's expressing themselves well, but there is this, oh, wow. And look at that, the Wheel of Fortune, this Ace of Cups and Wheel of Fortune just underneath the deck here. But it it's hard to see that. So definitely the opportunity is there, Taurus, with the Magician. Those of you who are single or something along those lines, this, A, this may be something coming into your future, all right, because you never know what's going to happen like next month or whatever, right? Uh, or this uh, just could indicate that if you're single, there is someone like that wants to manifest here, but we need to rewrite our love story. We need to move away from what isn't working, right? And try some other approaches here. Because again, what you don't see is that there is love right here to turn the wheel. Okay, so that is Taurus. We are on to Gemini. Okay, Gemini. Whoa, okay. Well, those wanted to come out right away. Uh, what is going on for you and Valentine's Day, please? Okay. Open for love. That's nice. That's a nice card. All right. <laughs> Don't be open for business. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> open for love. Okay. Uh, let's see. I always get silly with your readings. Don't I? Well, hello. Proposal. And <laughs> many suitors. Oh, <laughs> I, I shouldn't have made that joke now. That, that sounds funny. Okay. Um, proposal. Release what no longer serves you. So there could be like a lot, you know, a lot of people that are interested in you, but it does say one stands out in the crowd. So cleanse, like cleanse the ones that don't suit you, right? Release what no longer serves you because it looks like there is, if you're open for love, it looks like, oh, wow. Yeah. It looks like you could have some pretty nice energy coming in here. So proposal to me, I feel like since we're looking at Valentine's Day, I mean, sure, for some of you, it's very possible, right? People do propose on Valentine's Day. I feel like this is like a date, like a proposal for a date, being open for love, but it probably will lead to more. Okay. 
So well, actually, those were at the bottom of the deck, so I'll leave those there. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Hold on, is that lined up? Okay. All right. So Gemini, please, what is going on for their upcoming Valentine's Day? Gemini's. Wow, that's a lot of cards. Okay, let's see what's up. Oh, this looks like this is exactly the same as um, Taurus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle some more. I feel like it's the same. Uh, so somebody's probably watching both placements because something that you don't see. There is a love here that can turn the wheel and make you very happy. The Sun card, right? Um, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords, not seeing that, being in your emotions right now. Okay, so, I'm sorry, it just seems too way too similar to the last um, spread. So let me shuffle a little bit more here. Okay, tell me about Gemini, please. Gemini, what can they expect on Valentine's Day? What's going on for them? Going on for Gemini, please. Valentine's Day. Justice. The Hanged Man. And then the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right. That's that's cute. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I feel like you are in this kind of uh, kind of in between land in a way with things and it's with the hanged man here. I, I, I feel like this Valentine's Day, it's going to seem like nothing is going on or that you're sort of in limbo. Like, I don't know, you know, maybe something's going to happen, but it doesn't feel like it. And then at the last minute, here comes this Knight of Cups that says, hey, well, you know, why don't we go out? What the hell? You know, something like that, you know, kind of deal. So that's, that's what I'm seeing, like sort of a knight in shining armor, you know, kind of approach, whether or not they are, I don't know, you know, but <laughs> to you anyway, because I, I'm kind of getting the vibe. This is somebody that you already know. So yeah, let's see if that's a good thing or not. Because I, I do kind of get that vibe, like, like a... Somebody who does like you, but they may not let on that they like you as much as they do. And it's sort of like being in limbo with Valentine's Day, like, oh, nothing's really going on. Justice kind of gives me the impression you may have um, kind of ended something or something like that. So just sort of not really um, having that like really, really special person at Valentine's Day. But then this person comes in and is like, oh, hello. For others of you, though, this could, if you do have a good relationship and one stands out in the crowd and you're dating that person now or something along those lines, it's like this could absolutely, for some of you, of course, you know, right, uh, not all Geminis are getting a proposal, but with Justice, Knight of Cups, and Proposal could absolutely be what exactly what that is. It could be a proposal because Knight of Cups and Proposal can be that. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's look a little bit more here. You're a little little nervous about this one. <laughs> Knight of Wands, interesting. Okay, Wheel of Fortune into Knight of Wands. Okay, how is Gemini feeling uh, about this situation on Valentine's Day? Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. I definitely feel like you're, you'll you have some sort of communication, Gemini. I definitely see that for you. The Emperor, how do you feel? Nine of Wands and the Emperor, yeah. And then we have this Knight of Wands energy. So with this many suitors, but one stands out in, in the crowd and cleanse, 
I feel like there, there's someone possibly in your energy here that's been around a while that needs to be cleansed, justice, the hanged man. Like there's something very stagnant about that situation. But there's a part of you I feel that's a little bit awkward or or uh, insecure in a little bit what kind of way of someone coming in here this person seems maybe a little bit younger than you there could just be a little little nervousness with someone but i feel like this cleanse it says release what no longer serves you this one does not serve you all right nine of wands the emperor looks like something that's just kind of I mean, look, the, their arm is in a sling, their, you know, bandage on the head. Um, like, I feel like that's your energy from this emperor. And like they, it's, it's sort of like, no, who'd, who'd want that? So cleanse that energy because there are people who are interested in you and there is one that's going to stand out in the crowd. So it's like, I would say, let, let people come to you, let them communicate see what happens because it's like i do feel yeah yeah definitely definitely some of you will at least at the very least receive like some sort of email communication all right i don't think it's a text i think it's like an email so i do feel like some of you will have like an email communication others of you i do think that there's that there's a couple of people interested in you. Somebody's going to propose something. All right. It's just whether or not you feel comfortable going out is what I am seeing. All right. So I think, let, let's see, this Knight of Wands. Is this Knight of Wands good for Gemini? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. I would say yes. But yeah, see, I think there's all this like nervousness and the moon, the Nine of Swords, like fear of this almost. Because it means letting something go that, that really for a long time there was a lot of effort put into, but it just, I don't know, it feels like the karmic cycle time to let this go with justice and um, uh, the hanged man. So and that's what I see. I feel like there are two other options or at least one, but possibly even two, at least two options coming toward you. I do feel like you will have some kind of communication. And I also feel like you will be offered to like go somewhere also. So that's what I am seeing for you, Gemini. Okay, uh, let's see. So that was Gemini. We're on to Cancers. Okay, Cancers. What is going on for Cancers for Valentine's Day, please? Cancers and Valentine's Day. Past life. Interesting. What is going on for Cancers and Valentine's Day? Clarity. Getting to know you. And hands of time. Wanting to grow old with you. Wow. All right. Take the leap. Woo. Have faith and trust in yourself. Okay. So what do we have? Clarity. Clear your thoughts to see what is in front of you. All right, so take some time, meditate, or maybe someone, because it is a masculine on here. Maybe there's a masculine who's taking their time, clean, you know. Um, if you guys have been together for a while, it's like they, they may need like a little bit of time and space here and there to themselves so that they can clear their thoughts. If this is brand new, I do feel like you are getting to know someone, all right, and... Like, the more space that you give something, then I feel like, like, I wouldn't, with this, like, I feel like there's, like, not a huge pressure or a huge rush or, you know, something along those lines. So there's, like, um, it just feels like a, like a rhythm to this that's, that's not necessarily, like, wham, bam, you know, shotgun wedding, you know, kind of, kind of feel to it or anything like that, right? Uh, so, yeah, take your time with something. Um, allow yourself to get to know someone, vice versa. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this could look out, this could look up really good here, actually. Okay, so let's see. What is going on for Cancers and Valentine's Day, please? Valentine's Day. Six 
of Swords. Okay. Devil card. Okay, I'm like, what? What? What the hell is this card? Okay, I get it now. <laughs> All right, I was reading it. I'm like, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so definitely could be a Capricorn. And we just had a, an Aquarius card, so they could be a Capricorn Aquarius Cusper. Okay, what is going on for Cancers, please? We have the Four of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Star. Wow. Okay. So yeah, Aquarius energy, because that Six of Swords fell out earlier. We had Capricorn energy as well. Um... Okay, I feel for you guys, okay, for cancers, I'm going to say, like, I, this does not scream necessarily going out and having dinner and getting candies and flowers and, you know, stuff like that. Um, but it does feel like there's potential. Are there any actions around cancer females right now? Are there any actions around cancer females at this time? Okay, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups, Ten of Wands. Yeah, I don't feel like there's, there's like if you're with someone, I feel like, yeah, you know, you'll probably have a nice time, you know, kind of thing. The star card, right? If you've been with someone someone for a long time but i feel like you guys are definitely not communicating well all right uh eight of swords five of cups okay yeah get the moon Honestly, uh, uh, Cancers, I, I wish I was giving you a way. Yeah, look, a two, a two, and a two here. I feel like there's po potential, but there's just like not not moving forward, okay, is what I am seeing. So all the twos at the bottom, two, two, two is at the bottom of the deck, right? Um, and the one two that wasn't there is a two of cups, like connecting, emotionally connecting. So I do feel like there's some kind of kind of depression energy going on here is what I see. I feel like the feminine is like nervous. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was very nervous. Yeah. No one listen. No one listen. Okay. That song just came into my head. Um, not not the Tears for Fears version, the other, ver uh, the, uh, what's his name, Jules or something, or I don't know, Gary Jules, Mad World. Yeah, okay, because the feminine energy here just looks sort of like optimistic, but not really, like they, they're, they're sort of insecure, Eight of Swords. Okay, I see like this, now whatever gender combo you're working with here, right? Um, I do see this masculine energy that is just sort of like in their own, like, uh, like, De like kind of depression the moon five of cups victim mentality sort of thing right and then i see like well you know what comes out of that the ten of wands right um just sort of not really healing things not really moving forward so i do feel cancers like you if it's not Valentine's Day, like, though there is someone that you are going to get to know, someone that is going to want to, like, grow old with you and, like, share share their lives with you uh, and vice versa and all that sort of thing. But I just, I feel like it's possibly taking time <laughs> is, is what I see. All right. So it's not the most exciting reading, but 
I mean, this is a beautiful card. And actually, you know, all, all these are very beautiful cards. So it's like, I really feel like there is potential for you. So it's more of looking up towards the opportunities that are around and um, remaining positive as much as possible, that sort of thing. Because you have some pretty beautiful cards around, right? I mean, the star card is pretty nice. So I do feel like there's, in four of wands, you know, pretty nice. There's definitely potential here. Queen of Pentacles can be very good. That, that's kind of like my wife card, right? So I do think that there's potential here, but it's more of, eh, not too much going on right now. All right, is what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, if you're really super excited and you're dating somebody fun and exciting, or you may want to check like your Venus or rising or moon or something like that. Okay, let's go to Leo. Okay, what is going on for Leos, please? Valentine's Day, Leos. Got that stupid song from the 80s. What is that? She's my secret lover. Or I don't know, whatever. Some lame ass song. Oh, sorry. Probably somebody's favorite song out there. I don't know. <laughs> I always do that. And then it's like, oh, <laughs> I like this song. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, hello. Uncharted territory. New level of unconditional love. Interesting. All right. Where are we at? Oh, yeah. Leo's. Okay hidden love meeting in secret so this doesn't necessarily mean it's third party or cheaty or you know any of those things although you know, it could be right um this could just you know who knows maybe it's you guys both work at the same place and you're not telling everybody or you're not telling the family that you're dating someone or you know it could be something along those lines we do have this masculine energy though who's sort of unclear and definitely a past life connection showing up here as well. So those are our basic sort of oracle cards. Let's take a look at the tarot and see what's going on specifically for Valentine's Day for you. Do I even have the right lyrics to that song that's in my head that I don't like? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Actually, it's not a bad song. It's just, I don't know, kind of not not my not my jam but it's an okay song i guess all right uh what do we got going on for uh leo okay leo please leo what is going on on valentine's day please for the leos watching this video what can they expect what's going on for them uh, okay oh ten of swords and then nine of pentacles yeah all right so i feel like there's a masculine here who's yeah seven of swords that that can be a little a little cheaty or a little them needing to tiptoe away from another situation in order to come towards you as a knight of wands so i do see that energy now with with the secret love card um I gotta say this reading does not scream like, yeah, we're gonna go have the time of our life. We're gonna go dancing and go out to dinner or whatever, you know, Valentine's would mean for you, right? Nine of Pentacles. I, f I feel like there's more of a... It doesn't give me depressing vibes though. So it's like, I, I, I feel like this is more like your decision vibes is what I'm getting. With this Ten of Swords, I feel like you're exhausted of someone who consistently holds back from you. It, that's not all in with you. And you may be ending something around that time and just be like, you know, you're, you're too unclear. You want to keep us a secret. You don't, you know, it's like, that, that just ain't, you know, just not me. So I feel like you are around that time and maybe it's sooner maybe it's now maybe you're doing that stuff now i don't know but it does feel like you are definitely becoming mentally exhausted with someone who just wants to always keep things a secret or doesn't really like shower you you know with with attention or you know they hold back they don't connect with you emotionally um not that you need to be showered with attention leo that's not that came out wrong but what i'm saying like like none like none of the right ambition towards you 
Okay. So I feel like you are separating yourself from that energy. It's starting to become very clear how unclear this person is with you. And it's like, sure, you know, especially with the sevens, seven of wands, seven of swords, and then they come towards you, you know, as this knight of wands and all of that, but it like they exhaust you. That that's what I see. So yeah, and like you can't eventually you're gonna see like you're the Empress, you deserve more. Not being stuck in this hanged man like situation. Yeah, judgment comes along. All right, cool. All right. And then you decide, I want a king of wands, not a knight of wands. Yeah. So I feel like there's like more of an energy of you recognizing that like if you're dating someone or kind of involved with someone that it doesn't feel like you are at all. Like if you really like start assessing the situation, it feels like you're almost like their secret or something like that. So even if it isn't third party, it might as well feel like that, right? The kind of thing is what I'm getting. So I feel like you're you're going to be separating yourself from this energy. Maybe you're taking yourself out for a nice treat on Valentine's Day, quite frankly. Nine of Pentacles <laughs> can be that way. Uh, you know, like just kind of um, being independent and doing things for herself. So that's because I don't see that you're like sad and depressed. So it's not like a sad and depressed by yourself. It's more of a, you know what, screw you. I don't need you to, you know, waste any more of my time or holding back or, you know, it being unclear and, you know, all that kind of stuff is, is what I see there. Um, okay, so let's see. That's Leo. We're on to Virgo. All right, what do we got going on for Virgo, please? And Valentine's Day. Tell me about Virgos. And Valentine's Day. Thank you. Whoa. All right. Those almost fell off the table. Oh, look, you have giving a gift. Wow. That's funny. Okay. Um, but it's with hurtful words. I don't, I don't know about that. Let's see. Oh, hello. So what's hurtful words? Hmm. I don't know. Could be that wasn't supposed because they fell out on the table. I, I'm going to kind of keep this one around here. We'll see if it comes out like with a spread, if it makes sense. So we have look for the signs, first kiss and giving a gift. So I feel like you will receive a gift on Valentine's Day. If it's not like the first kiss you've ever had with this person, um, this may be like an opportunity to have that because it says look for the signs. So this person may be wanting to like, you know, they're giving you a gift because they, they're trying to show you like a sign. They want to have a romantic connection with you. Cause sometimes this is, this kind of reminds me of the six of cups in tarot, this card. And that can be like friends. So this could be someone who's like a friend who's wanting to take you out on Valentine's day, right? Well, look for the signs there. You know, what kind of gift did they give you? Did they give you something that like a boyfriend would give you? Or did they give you something a friend would give you? If they gave you something like that, a boyfriend would probably give, then that's their, that's probably their way of saying, Hey, you know, I want to be more than friends. That's what I, I'm getting something along those lines. Now the hurtful words, I'm not sure yet. We'll kind of see if that comes out in the tarot and see what comes along with that. All right, so I do feel you will be receiving a gift on Valentine's Day. Uh, okay, so what else? What's going on for Virgo on Valentine's Day, please? Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. We got the bottom of the deck. The Hierophant. All right. Could be a Taurus or if this is someone you're married to, right? Um, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Cups. Yeah. Somebody definitely wants to take you out. It may not be exactly on Valentine's Day for some of you. And I would say that's if you are, if you're married or dating a Taurus. All right. There may be a chance that like it's delayed a day or two for a good reason. They might have to work like that knight or something like that with the seven of pentacles or maybe you do, you know, either or. So I do feel like there that you have activity. All right. Around 
Valentine's Day, for sure. All right. Four of Wands, Ace of Wands. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like somebody may have to work on Valentine's Day. So, like, you may celebrate either, like, I don't know, maybe in the afternoon or, like, the next day or the weekend coming up or prior or, you know, something like that is what I'm getting. I feel like timing could be a little bit odd. But I do feel like you will have, like, plans. What is the hurtful words? I don't, I don't really understand. Let me get the, um, do I have my other tarot around? Um, handy. Where's my rider weight? Oh, there it is. What's the hurtful words? Why is that coming out with all these other cards? Because you, honestly, your energy looks really nice. I think it looks fine. What is hurtful words? Honestly, too, I'm getting like maybe being a little sensitive to, <laughs> please don't take that, you know, again, you know, I don't, I don't want to trigger anyone or anything like that or say, oh, it's all your fault. Vir it's all in your head, Virgo, or, you know, I don't mean it to sound like that at all, but I am kind of getting a little bit of a, like, um, possibly too sensitive um, with something. Now, if you have somebody who's a total jerk and always puts you down, then no, you know, they're a total jerk and they shouldn't be doing that. But I do, I, I get the sense like something that may, like you may take something too sensitively um, and it may not mean what you think. Yeah, especially if someone you're with like has a few too many drinks, they might, they might uh, say the wrong thing, you know, and it could feel hurtful or you may get over -sensi sensitive with something they say. Yeah, and you're not speaking up about it, though. So when we don't speak up about things, it's like, well, you know, I mean, that's kind of what happens. All right. Um, yeah, some of you, too, it could even be like, it, especially if you're married with this Hierophant here, where you, where the husband or whatever gender combo you are, like the masculine energy here just kind of says the wrong thing. And it, it sounds... Like it's not what you wanted to hear or what you wanted or something like that. But the thing is, if you're not clear about what you want and, you, and you're too afraid to say it, right? Eight of Swords is like not speaking up for yourself or, or being a little intimidated with a situation or being a little mummified to say what you really want to say, you know, things like that. Seven of Cups is sort of being all over the place, not really knowing or directing towards what you want. So I feel like if you don't speak up about what you want, then this King of Cups is going to bring you what they think you love, but you may be like, sensitive over this because it's like wow they didn't hear me at all but the thing is you weren't clear so i do feel like if there is something specifically that you would like with valentine's day to say specifically what you would like with valentine's day i feel like this masculine energy again whatever gender is more than happy to accommodate but it's like if you don't speak up and you just expect them to look for the signs then they're going to bring you something they think you love, but then I feel like you are going to feel like, oh, they don't know me at all. <laughs> because, um, you know, and then that, that could put like all kinds of doubts in your relationship or something, but it's not that they don't know you at all. It's that you're not really clearly saying, you know, signs or hints aren't, people aren't that deaf, you know, we're, we're da whatever, where they can just pick up on everything. All right. We're just not. I know us women would love for our partners to be that way, but the truth is they're not. <laughs> right. And so like, it's, it's always better to just be very clear with what your intentions are or your expectations are, or what would, what would you like, you know, to share on that day with this person, you know, be very clear because otherwise I feel like it's like, Oh, they don't know me at all. They don't know what I want. They don't, you know, or they could even do something that feels like insensitive to you where I don't think it's intentional. All right. That's, that's what I'm getting with that card. Uh, okay. So, um, if you're single, um, I would say, I mean, things look good and there's possibilities with someone if you're single. All right. I don't know if you're necessarily going out on Valentine's Day? Possibly, right? Um, but there's definitely something in the works here. Okay. All right. So that was Virgo. We are on to Libra. Oh, yeah. Look at the bottom of the deck. Weather out the storm. See, th there's something here where it's... The, 
there's something that insensitive that could occur because we weren't clear about it in the first place. Like maybe this person thought, well, you know, Virgo didn't say much about Valentine's Day and didn't and said it didn't really matter. So I did take that job, you know, on Valentine's Day night. So I'm going to be working. And you may take that as being hurtful and, well, you know, that kind of deal. That's what I'm seeing. This is saying weather out the storm with this situation. Because I, I do feel like the person doesn't intentionally mean to, like, hurt you or, you know, anything like that. That's what I'm getting. Unless, again, with the caveat. I mean, if they're always an, an ass and always a jerk, you know, well, then, yeah, there, there's that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we are on to Libra. All right. Libra, please. Tell me about Valentine's Day, Libra going on valentine's day whoop whoa hello choose love great card children oh not on the same page when it comes to children perhaps okay let's see uh we have choose love actually it was kind of like that because that came out first planning ahead oh yeah look it's like she's almost she's like pregnant in this picture and then children so there there could be some um you know celebration maybe some of you are pregnant by then or talking about you know um planning ahead divine timing is aligned if you've been trying to get oh yeah that's definitely a message for somebody out there if you have been trying to get pregnant then valentine's day might absolutely be the day that could be that divine timing but just make sure that it's um if you like if you're trying to have a child right uh that you are in the energy of love during the actual act <laughs> okay um not in too lustful or not in too oh my god let's do this because i'm ovulating right like be in the energy of love and i feel like you can um um what's the word you know have a baby but there's a there's a better word for it but uh not ovulate uh whatever like you you it'll be a good time all right if you want to have a child okay so let's see all right what about uh other messages for libras who uh just any message for libras for valentine's day what's going on for them valentine's day Libra, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. So for those of you, like, I feel like it's a separate message than what that one was. Okay. Some of you are in the energy of like, oh, that's not going to happen for me. And might even be like annoyed at Valentine's Day. Like not on that day, but like just annoyed at it in general. Like always annoyed with Valentine's Day is what I'm kidding. Like ugh, Valentine's Day, really, you know, kind of thing. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you're choosing to like work on something that you love to do on that day. You're not really paying much attention to it. Um, kind of doing your own thing. But you do have someone here, all right, expressing interest with this Page of Cups. Oh, hello, the lover's card. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, yeah, Page of Swords here too. I feel like you have a couple people like reaching out though and wishing you like happy Valentine's Day. One of them could be like a Gemini or also if it's not a Gemini, it doesn't, doesn't matter like what sign they are, but someone's here is like very attracted to you. Another one I feel like you're annoyed with, like, really? With the Page of Swords? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so I do feel like you're going to get messages, that's for sure. Or offers, you know, these could be people wanting to take you out or something like that, too. I feel like one of them, like, you're just annoyed by, like, really? They're, they're going to wish me a happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> you know, like, you're super annoyed with that person. Um, but, yeah, this one seems to um, be more, like, genuine, loving, uh really interested in your well-being that's what I'm getting I just feel like you are not really entertaining much 
is what, what I'm seeing here with the Three of Pentacles. It could possibly be, because be, this is a different Three of Pentacles. Like in the Rider Waite, we do see three people on the card. So if I take out like this deck in, uh, out of the consideration and just go by the traditional Three of, of Pentacles, it's possible maybe you guys are like, like going out with a couple friends, you know, something like that. All right. So I see that as well. Others of you with these pages around, oh yeah, that could be it too. Um, maybe you're a single mother and you're just kind of um, working on things and like, but the children, like they plan ahead or maybe need, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Here's another message too. If you're a mother, plan ahead for the children, they may need um, yeah, I feel like you, otherwise you may be like working all day long, like making those Valentines or making those cookies or something like that. If you don't plan ahead for what they need, that's, that's a weird message, but you know, sometimes like, like if you have little kids or something, they do need, I don't know if they still do that in school where they send out little Valentines to each other's little boxes and stuff. I, I that we did that when I was a kid. I, I, I doubt if they still do stuff like that these days, but there may be something like that you need to help them on a project or maybe there's a play and you got to help with some things or provide cookies or, you know, something along those lines. So there's that message. I know that's very odd. Um, but yeah, some of you, it could just mean like your children, like are the ones, you know, that like love you and are coming towards you and, you know, that sort of thing too. Either way, it's like, I feel like you are surrounded by love. You are surrounded by people who are interested. So it's kind of more a matter of you, um, like divine timing is aligned here to choose love in your life. So some of you may kind of self-isolate, but it doesn't really need to be that way with this card here. Okay. Uh, kind of an interesting reading. I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to be like a super exciting dinner, roses, you know, kind of Valentine's Day for you. If that doesn't make sense, like if you probably will have that type of Valentine's Day, then maybe check your rising or moon sign. Okay. Uh, all right, so that was Libra. We are on to Scorpio. All right, what do we got going on for Scorpio, please? Oh, those two seem like they want to come out. Scorpio. Valentine's Day. What is going on for Scorpio? Oh, okay. Well, hello, Divine Masculine. Uh-oh. Past returns. Perhaps an ex-love or a past life person. Okay. So let's see, is there a card under there? Nope, it's just one card. Ooh, okay. I thought there was like a card under there for some reason. It felt like it was like two, but there's just one. Ooh, look at that, Scorpio. So some of you being the divine masculine, all right, or um, spending time with a divine masculine. Oh, hello, new life. Okay. Could be literal. Uh, she does appear to be like kind of pregnant here. <laughs> so heads up, could be pregnant, you know, on, um, Valentine's day, you know, if that's something you're into, if you're not, then well, there you go. Overcome odds. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Cause you do have this like past returns kind of thing. So some of you may like overcome the odds of a situation or something along those lines. Also to overcome odds, uh, comes out when maybe there's something like different, about the other, all right, or, you know, something along those lines, but it is a pretty encouraging reading, I would say. All right, so let's see what's going on for Valentine's Day, please, for Scorpio. Oh, that's right, we're moving these cards over here. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, Scorpio, please, for Valentine's Day. What is going on for Scorpio? on Valentine's Day, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eh, mm, eh. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we got at the bottom? The Empress. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely an Empress vibe going on here for sure. So, um, hmm. I feel like you will like hear from someone, but I don't feel like you're possibly like doing anything like on Valentine's Day. All right. With the three of wands, 
could be a distance thing too. Maybe even someone from like a different country or something like that, uh, possibly for some of you with the three of wands. Sometimes that can indicate like really, you know, long distance, but it is optimistic. It's an optimistic card. I feel like you are, I don't, are you, you're probably healing Scorpio. That's what I feel is going on for you. Four of swords, two of swords. It's like not really, um, I feel like the, the whole Valentine thing is just kind of not your scene at this time. You know, when it rolls around, you're just sort of maybe healing from some things or taking it easy. Because it's, it's got more of a dreamier and like swords are like mental uh, situations going on but they these two feel like they're at least they're not like the eight and nine of swords right or the ten of swords they feel like they're more like healing energy but there is this optimism like look at that bright color that comes in here then you know so i feel like there is i feel like this is like moodiness you know that sort of scorpionic uh lost in deep thoughty kind of stuff going on right and then there's like this optimistic it could be a fire sign um, that is showing interest or something like that is what I see. And that can be why overcome odds is here. Cause it's like, yeah. Cause you, we, look, we even had the blue and then the orangey, right? Like, so you may be in like kind of melancholia, Scorpio, uh, weirdness, you know, or something like that, uh, when Valentine's day rolls around or now, whatever, you know, kind of thing. And then there's this like sort of like optimistic, um, person. Divine Masculine, too. Yeah, let's not forget that. Wow, that's true, because you did have the Empress here. So it's like Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine showing up. I'd say, you know, there could be something like very different about you and someone else, but it does look optimistic. That's what I see. So I don't, I feel like on Valentine's Day proper, there's probably not anything going on, all right, from what I can see. Um, however, I do feel like there is something that is possibly presented within the next two months for you here that seems like more optimistic. That's what I am seeing for you, Scorpio. Okay, uh, let's see. So we are on to Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, what is going on for Valentine's Day for Sagittarius, please? What's the energy around them for Valentine's Day? Whoa, somebody else got that too. Insecurities, okay. Let go of the negative experiences of the past. Start having faith in that things actually will work out in the end. So here's the thing. I feel like there's, okay, those of you that are in a third party, perhaps, feeling like it's your twin flame. I feel like redefining your, your, your definition of twin flame. Some of you may have got kind of like hooked, hooked on that, uh, twin flames are tumultuous, uh, karmic, horrible lessons that we have to live in life and, you know, something like that. And you may be using that I'm getting as like a fallback excuse for something that's keeping you stuck. Um, I, I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm sorry. I have a, I have a very blunt way of talking sometimes, um, as you, as you can too, uh, Sagittarius, right? Um, I do have Venus in Sagittarius, so there you go. Um, so I didn't mean that in a, like a mean way or like, oh, some of you have this like false idea. You know, I, I didn't mean it to sound that way. I uh, just, it's the message that comes out, right? So it's like a don't shoot the messenger kind of thing. Um, I just probably could de deliver it in a nicer way. So, but the thing is, I mean, and there is something like magical about like this idea and stuff like that, but I feel all too often it's used more as an excuse to stay in a crappy relationship. And that's, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. So if I'm, and we haven't even got to the tarot yet, but what, what I'm seeing here is a Valentine's day. And that's, keep in mind, I'm doing this very early because this does not have to be set in stone. We can always change our tarot reading, right? We have free will and there's plenty of time to do it because if I'm totally frank here, I feel like you are not really having that great of a Valentine's day. I feel like you are kind of in that eight of swords energy of <clears throat> just feeling negative about things. And this could have tied you up in a lot of energy for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe literally, I don't know. Um, and I feel like, like Source is saying, you know what, though? 
It's like, there could be proposals in your future. Things, you know, there could be like a destiny of a proposal in your future. But when we turn our back on that energy and lose faith in that energy and put more stock into this, then we do this, then we're just going to get more of that. So I feel like there's like not much going on on Valentine's Day um, because of that. All right, so let's see. Let's get the tarot cards though and let's see what's going on. All right, what's going on for uh, Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, please. So again, <clears throat> again, let go of the negative experiences of the past. You may have put a lot of stock in feeling it was destiny with someone and that, oh, it's going to end up, it's going to work out in the end, <clears throat> but it doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, it's like things, things just, so don't let that experience be like your, your weight and judgment as to what is to come in your future. Okay. So tell me about Sagittarius, please. And Valentine's Day. The Seven of Cups. Nine of Swords, yeah. And Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so... Yeah, but and so there, there may be a masculine around you, but they have like this kind of, oh, feel sorry for me kind of energy. But the thing is, I feel like then you come and you put work into that. You put work into them and lifting them up. It's time for you to take a leap of faith towards something different. Yeah, <laughs> Page of Pentacles and the Empress. Time to, like, put efforts and take new leaps of faith towards new communications because I feel like there's a same old, same old here with this Five of Cups energy, this sort of masculine energy of, um, I don't know what's wrong with me and nothing ever works out. You know, like, they may come to you with stuff like that and then it's like you, like, there you go, putting the work in to lifting them up when... It's like, wouldn't it be nice for a change for like someone to just, you know, appreciate you, right? As the empress and not have to like talk somebody down from, you know, the metaphoric ledge or something like that. That's, that's what I'm getting. So nine of pentacles, I feel like this Valentine's day could be a very single day, but I also think it could be a very special day for you. So I don't see it shared with someone. Um, but I do feel like there's, if you treat yourself with reverence, treat yourself to love, like you can have a very nice, uh, like enchanting kind of day. All right. That's what I see. But if you stay in worry and like not really knowing what you want and like, why doesn't anything come to me? Because it's seven of cups. If we don't know what we want, then... You know, I mean, universe doesn't do all the work for us. You know, we got to do some of the work. So that's that's what I'm seeing here. So I'm sorry. You're, it sounds like a boot camp reading. And, you know, I didn't mean for it to come across like that, especially, you know, if you're clicking on hoping for a very romantic, you know, stylized kind of reading. Um, I feel like yours is a little more boot camp. And if it doesn't resonate, you know, check uh, your rising moon. Venus also might be a good one to check. But I I feel like there's all kinds of potential for you. But it takes like looking on to like the, what's been going on, the sort of non-direction and then getting like worried. But the worries and fears and, and anxieties come from not having like a, a, a specific direction or not willing to, to ask for your needs to be met. So that's, that's what, it, what I, I feel is going on for you guys. All right. So, all right. So let's see. That's Sagittarius. Let's go to um, Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn and Valentine's Day, please? Tell me about Capricorn and Valentine's Day. Cupid. <laughs> What's that cute 50 song? Something about Cupid. I forget. All right. Uh, let's see. What's going on for Capricorn, please? Friends? Uh-oh. Becoming more than friends, so maybe, with the heart. 
this is something stuck. I, I just, I'm curious to see what that is. Divine feminine. All right. Realizing you're worth it for one. Or some of you may be afraid of an, of approaching a divine feminine. That's like a friend. You want to be more than friends um, sort of thing. Cause that was like stuck in the deck. Yeah. Another one stuck. Oh my God. Look, there's a lot of potential I'm seeing here with a situation, but it's, hold on, What's that? hold on, is that me? Oh, it's like a squirrel or something. I'm like, what is that? It's like, was that a knock at the door or what? Okay. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. Um, So at the bottom of the deck, this is interesting. We have rumors, don't listen, don't spread, and divine protection. Interesting. Okay, so I don't know what that is about. Some of you might just be like, you might have met somebody kind of, you know, keep its arrow, but now you're sort of like friends, maybe friends with benefits, something like that. This is saying sit down, communicate, fix things. All right. So this might be an excellent time for you on like on Valentine's Day, you guys might end up having like a really um, like close conversation, close talk. Not in a boring or, oh God, not another talk, you know, not that kind of talk, like in, in a good way, like just sort of, I'm getting kind of spontaneous, like that this is spontaneous. Okay. So let's see, let me get the tarot and see what's going on for you guys. All right. So what's going on for Capricorn? Capricorn, please. Capricorn and Valentine's Day. What can they expect? Okay, thank you. The star, two of swords, and the chariot. Yeah, forward. I feel like yours is sort of, yeah, page of pentacles, like a conversation that's unexpected. I don't see a tower card here, but it almost has like an unexpected vibe of the tower card without the treachery of a tower card is why I feel like the tarot card or a tower card did not come out in this reading because there's going to be some kind of like conversation that moves things forward is what I am seeing here. Um, the two of swords and the star. Yeah. Cause I do feel like you, you two were probably like each other's hopes or something like that at some point. Or you're going to meet someone that is like, wow, you know, who's that? But then maybe it just kind of slows down or goes into the wrong direction. Maybe a little bit too friend zone or, you know, something along those lines. But they, this person's into you. I'm not sure if this has happened yet. This might be something that is happening from now till. Uh, so this may not resonate with you yet is what I'm sensing. So fix a situation. Don't let it turn into, you know, just. Like there was an initial spark here. So don't let it turn into like just friends or something along those lines. Sit down, communicate. I, yeah. So basically for your actual Valentine's Day, I feel like it feels like, like leading up to Valentine's Day, like nothing is really going on for you. But then I do think that there's sort of possibly like a last minute sort of spontaneous either conversation between you and someone uh, that is, is like a deep Again, not like a talking things out and like, ugh, you know, like, oh, let's have a talk, you know, not like that kind, like something spontaneous and deep and meaningful, you know, like, but remember, you know, back in university days, you know, you sit up, have the co cup of coffee and talk about really important things. You know, I'm getting like more of that, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Give me a little drink from your loving cup. Uh, isn't there, yeah, there's a line in that stone song, something about, I'd love to spill the beans with you till dawn. Um, yeah, like you guys are just like talking. That's what I see. And the chariot card could mean like a last minute date also. Like, oh, okay, I'm going to come pick you up. We're going out. You know, that kind of deal too. So I don't know, Capricorn. It looks a little mysterious, but it looks like it has potential. That's what I see. All right. 
Uh, let's go to Aquarius now. Hey, okay, Aquarius, please. What's going on for Aquarius and Valentine's Day? Leave space so I can grow and nourish my soul. All right. not the right time okay but there's some regrets here too okay social media watching commenting stalking okay so what's up hmm. all right so with the regret so this masculine energy feels uh, you know what I, I think it's like this masculine energy wanted wanted some space or something like that But it probably wasn't the right time for that. And now they regret that because maybe, because that's the thing about an Aquarius, right? It's like, um, if you don't keep their attention, you know, then they, they will quickly. So, yeah, I feel like there's someone here that maybe they said, oh, I need space Aquarius or something like that. Uh, so Aquarius was like, mm, okay. <laughs> You know, and there you go. Uh, and now they're regretting that or, you know, something along those lines, possibly. Because, yeah, something's not the right time. All right. With with the situation and like this masculine energy is is regretting it. Like, oh, I shouldn't have closed the gate. You know, it wasn't the right time to do that. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what's going on. All right. What else for Aquarius? Oh, whoa. Aw. Okay. Well, there we go. That was easy. Three of Pentacles. And we have an Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Okay. So I do feel like there will be some sort of offer on Valentine's Day. Whether or not you choose to take said offer, you know, that that's dependent upon you. But I do feel like there is someone reaching out, at least wishing you a happy Valentine's Day or wanting to actually share that day with you. Go do something, take you out to dinner or whatever, you know, whatever would be your thing. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be something brand new. All right. So if you're single, there could be someone that you meet via work with the Three of Pentacles or... Someone that you meet that you do have something initially in common. Like there's some kind of common ground, like either you go to the same place or you work at the same place or something along those lines, I feel, if you're single. Okay. Um, others of you, if there is something going on here, it looks like there are like mendings, getting on the same page, you know, something along those lines. And there's like this like peaceful energy to something so either way i would say despite the energy going on here that there is some very positive energy coming towards you for many of you i feel like it's new because I, I feel like this then that may be why this masculine energy is feeling regret because it's like oh well all right <laughs> you know moving on right kind of thing because you are entertaining new offers now that's 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 more along the lines of probably what's going on that's what i think so yeah so it looks positive i would say aquarius uh, let's see Yeah, there's a conflict. That's that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person may try to come back and offer you something, but I feel like you're ignoring that that situation and moving towards a new situation. Yeah, that that makes sense. It's like a conflict kind of thing. So it's um, yeah, that person waited too long as like to how they are like toward you. So I do feel like you will be entertaining new situations by Valentine's Day. And that there's this, whatever this is, like they may come, come around with some sort of solid, um, pr 
proposal of some kind, right? Not marriage proposal, but, you know, proposal or something like that. But I feel like that's a conflict with you. And it's like you are more interested in new situations. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Oh, let's see. So who is that? That was Aquarius. We're on to Pisces. Okay. All right. Shuffle these up a little bit. I put some of the cards back in because we were getting pretty low. Okay, what do we have oh, for Pisces? <laughs> that really was jumpy and hop hoppity hop. Okay. And what's going on here? Something stuck. Yeah, that was stuck in the middle. All right. Somebody else had argument. I, it might have been Aries, maybe. Or Taurus. Oh, well, there we go. Fun times. <laughs> fun times. Yeah, I, I see that. That, look, that looks like a so, super fun, doesn't it, Pisces? An argument and some court, kind of like meeting in secret, secret love. Okay. Um, let's see. But the thing is, I think it will. Okay, you will have a fun time. So I'm going to say yes. I feel like you will have a fun time uh, on Valentine's Day. This says, are you hearing each other, though? So, like, if you're in any arguments with someone now or are about to be in the near future leading up to Valentine's Day, um, are, are we really, like, hearing, hearing each other? What really needs to be said? Um, you do have the secret love card, hidden love, meeting, and secret. But you do have fun times here as well. All right, so let's get the tarot and see what's going on for you. All right. So it could mean you have an, uh, an argument with the divine masculine, <clears throat> but have like a secret uh, fun time, like with someone else. All right, that could be too. All right, so what's going on for Pisces? Pisces on Valentine's Day, please. What can they expect? What's going on for Pisces? Ace of Wands, the Fool card, wow, and the Ten of Pentacles, interesting, okay. Three of Swords, yeah, that can be definitely third party at the bottom of the deck, but then the Sun. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I do feel like there could be something surrounding Valentine's Day for you that is fun. I'm getting, though, like, it's like seeing someone at, like, a function or seeing someone at, like, a gathering or something like that that just kind of elicits this passion yeah I feel like you guys will be out like doing something like during like the day or the early evening but like some kind of outdoor event or something like that is what I'm getting so I'm, I'm not getting like oh quiet romantic dinner in the corner for two with candlelight right I'm getting like you guys will be out like doing something and you're sort of excited because it allows you to see somebody that you have a crush on <laughs> quite frankly that's what I see <laughs> So maybe you're in like a little a boring era of your marriage right now or something with the Ten of Pentacles. And it's like, oh, who, who's that? You know, like, who, who's that UPS guy delivering <laughs> what we, you know, need for our event here? Um, you know, something like that. I like the cut of those, those slacks. 
<laughs> I don't remember what that's from. Something funny. I can't remember some movie or TV show or something. Uh, okay, so honestly, I think like you're gonna be having a nice time on Valentine's Day. I don't think it's so like a super. I'm gonna check singles for you because I don't feel like it's a super like like I said romantic candlelight dinner or anything like that. I feel like you're going to be at a function or some kind of like event or something or just like a, a family get together or something along those lines but there is something that's like sort of exciting there's someone that catches your eye or something along those lines okay so there's that let me see what else i can get for you pisces what about single pisces like single pisces and maybe that was a singles reading but i'm not 100 percent convinced so let's take this out of the equation and tell me about single pisces please Singles, Pisces. <laughs> Aw, okay. Uh, tough energy. Okay, it doesn't have to be though. All right, so. Five of Pentacles judgment card is pretty heavy energy for single Pisces. All right. It's going to be difficult to like really connect with someone when we're in this energy or if we're meeting these types of people, because this is being like feeling everything's heavy, feeling the weight of the world um, and kind of not really believing in love, feeling like abandonment type energy. Um, yeah. So, but the thing is, it's like, look, you have the 10 of cups here. So I do feel like that there is the possibility for something very, very like emotional fulfilling around you. So this would be like one of those readings to, hey man, it's time to get into that energy of, instead of looking at like, oh, there's nobody for me. Every, they always leave. You know, that kind of thing. In fact, let's look at your blockages right now. All right, we'll spend a little extra time on this one because um, this, this is possible. Ten of Cups, which is a really nice card. And that's the whole point of, you know, this channel. We want to get you here. <laughs> okay. Or, you know, a, any of the, the positive cards. That's where we want to get you. All right. So this Five of Pentacles Judgment card is pretty harsh. All right, what are the blockages for Pisces? Single Pisces here. Because this, we're seeing very clearly the Ten of Cups is possible for them. So what are these blockages? Oh, okay. Oh, there's two here. Okay. And I do feel like that one too. All right. Yeah, feeling like you're not compatible. Feeling like you don't believe there's really a match out there for you. Okay. Yeah, too many walls and, and, and uh, like, borders and, like, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so boundaries. Needing to hold good boundaries so that you don't feel violated, right? The Five of Pentacles has made us feel like we've been put out in the cold, left out in the cold in the past. So, but that's probably, and then that can start, like, that victim mentality mindset of abandonment and, like, that type of nobody really you know has my best interest in mind nobody really cares about me nobody you know fill in the blanks right so but it may have just been like a hardcore lesson you know um to in the past of showing us how to create better boundaries so that this doesn't happen to us all right so there's that and then with this judgment card, I feel like these are the thing, like this is what to pay attention in this respect, because the judgment card is very much about karma to me as a reader and like needing to um, like really pay attention to our discernment and our decisions and like learn, like learn and grow from things that have happened for it from our karma. Okay, so this says fear of loss. You are afraid of losing someone or being abandoned. Yeah, abandoned en en energy is here with that five of pentacles. Wow, I didn't even see that on this card. Um, yeah, so you are afraid of losing someone or of being abandoned. Take a chance. Take a chance. So when we're in this energy of fear or like, oh, hell no, that's never happening again, you know, to me. It's like we need to pay better attention to our boundaries also because boundaries aren't necessarily always healthy either. It's like boundaries can keep us away from things, all right? Sometimes they are very needed 
you know, they, I feel like in this particular way, yes, you know, they are needed. So you don't feel that way, but then set those boundaries and make sure they're healthy boundaries and stick with them. Right. But if they're not set to begin with, then we can't, you know, get upset then, you know, when, the, I mean, we can, but it's like, we, that's, that's on us too. It's not just their fault. All right. Um, and then, yeah, being afraid of losing someone or being abandoned, take a chance. And then let's see, what's this last one say? Your fear of being hurt has made you retreat. It is time to get out and try again. And look what happens. Ten of cups. Ten of cups. And look at that. That's such a beautiful ten of cups. So this has happened in the past, but this it's kind of showing why these things happen. It's not saying it's your fault or that, oh, you did this wrong and that's why this happened to you. You know, that, that's... That's like judgment, you know, card energy. We're not looking at, at it from that point of view. We're looking at it from how we can grow and learn from it. Not how we can like point fingers at it, right? We want to grow and learn from it. So that's what, what I'm seeing here. And then I feel like it's like, yeah, this could be really great for you. Ten of Cups waiting here in the future. So it's time to get out and try again. All right, uh, that's what I got for you guys. I will leave those there. And thank you so much. 